Success is not created. It's always been there. We just have to align our thinking with it. And by doing so, success becomes visible to the outside world. Success is not achieved, it's displayed. Greatness is always available to those who are willing to think in a way that will allow it to manifest itself. Now what I'm gonna do here on this message is teach you the art of greatness. The seven elements that dictate success. Circumstances are born out of a consciousness that allows them to exist. So the first element that you have to tap into if you want to go to the next level, is vision. I like to back everything up with scripture. Where there is no vision, the people perish. Success starts with self-awareness. So what you have to do is awaken to your true identity. See, greatness made you, therefore greatness is in you. God did not design you to be average, mediocre, lukewarm. That would be going against his own nature. You will never fully Understand who you are until you accurately see your father and your father loves you. You are not here by mistake You have a purpose in life. You have a calling on your life There is a need a void in this world that only you can feel you have been given specific natural talents gifts and abilities Perfectly suited for what you've been called to do now contrary to popular belief you were designed for more than just doing a nine to five. Just scraping by month by month, living just above broke. That is not God's plan for your life. I'll back it up. I came that you might have life and have it more abundantly. He's talking about you, abundant life. Press down, shake it together, running over. What dream did God plan inside of you? Each and every one of us has a dream. God put it there. All we have to do is awaken to it. The enemy's objective is to keep you so busy every day, to keep you wore out doing that job that you were never designed to do, to keep you so tired that you never have time to sit down and ask, what am I called to do? What was I designed to do here on earth? If you want to experience success at the highest level, you got to start getting clear on what you want in life. If you don't have a vision for your life, you're going to be helping somebody else build their vision. Vision is the genesis of all greatness. You build success first in the mind. You chisel away everything that doesn't belong in your life from that vision. You walk it out. You get up every day and build what is already there. Now I'm going to get a little deep on you right here. To manifest your dream fully, your mind must be held to a standard of unwavering fidelity to the belief that that dream has already been accomplished. Your thinking must remain loyal to your outcome desired and not fall victim to the seductive mistresses of thoughts that run contrary to that dream. Greatness requires wholeness and wholeness is to yield one's entire being to the belief that the vision desired has already been attained. Now decide what it is that you want in life and then get a vision for that in your mind and then own it. I don't mean rent it. I don't mean lease it. I mean go to the title company, put the money down and own that dream. Then you got to capture it down on paper. Write the vision to make it plain so he that read it can run with it. You got to get that vision down on paper. I know a man who writes down his goals every morning and every evening and reads them aloud before he starts the day and before he ends it. He's been doing that for the last 20 years and now he's worth $100 million. You can do it too. See these laws, these elements that I'm laying out here for you today. They're available for anybody. They're not a keeper of persons. They don't care who taps into them. They just obey. Anybody that aligns with them will produce fruit with them. Truth does not discriminate. She loves all who embrace her. And that's you. All you got to do is tap into these principles that I'm laying out here for you. The second element to the art of greatness is the mindset. You got to address your mind. The word says, be not conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. It's your mind that transforms your life. You can't get extraordinary results with an average mindset. It just don't work that way. Now hear me out. Thoughts are products of the mindset. And the mindset is the offspring of a belief system. To be successful, 
One must not just address the thoughts or the mindset, but dig deeper and adopt the belief systems and awareness that truly dictates success. To step fully into greatness, you gotta adopt Matthew 19:26 as the foundation of your thinking. And that's with God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. Now that with God part is consciousness and an understanding of who God is. It's also understanding where God is. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. That means God lives in you. You have the power of God residing on the inside of you. The world belongs to the bold. And once you know who's on the inside of you, you can aggressively attack your dream the way it needs to be attacked in order to become a reality. Champions refuse to entertain self-limiting beliefs in any way, shape, or form. That doesn't exist because with God, all things are possible. All things are available to the one who believes. Because destiny is obligated by universal law to concede to the demands of unwavering faith. You gotta protect your mind. You gotta quarantine all doubters, haters, and naysayers who don't believe in your dream. You gotta get those people out of your life. Your dream is too important to let it be put in jeopardy by those around you. The only people you should have around you are warriors that believe. This is the mindset. See, champions don't make excuses. Champions make adjustments. If you want greatness, then you gotta commit to a complete abandonment of all thoughts and beliefs that run contrary to the outcomes that you desire. Only that which God has promised should you accept from the world and nothing less to settle for anything less than God has promised is to doubt God. A disciplined mind rooted in truth can do the impossible. Pour greatness into your mind daily. What you gotta do is surround yourself with greatness. People who understand it, exemplify it, and are constantly pursuing it. The only people I hang out with are the sick and hungry. People who are sick and tired of being average and hungry enough to do something about it. That's who you should hang out with. That's the mindset you gotta adopt if you wanna be unstoppable. The third element to the art of greatness is the inner standard. The standard that you hold yourself to day in and day out. Cultivate a spirit of excellence in everything you do. Now let me back this up with the word. Then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes because an excellent spirit was in him. And the king thought to set him over the whole realm to step fully into greatness. You gotta understand that average is the play and you gotta refuse to have anything to do with it. Mediocre is too dangerous to leave unchecked. Here's where we make a mistake when we think we can compartmentalize average. See, if you let average exist anywhere in your life, it will seek to spread to the other areas. There's nothing wrong with having big dreams and big goals. But in order to achieve them, you gotta put in place the inner standard that will produce that outcome that you want. Just like the world's tallest skyscrapers, success must be built on a deep and solid foundation. Enduring prosperity can only be engineered with solid core values, strong righteous principles, and impeccable character. What do you want to stand for in life? There's an old saying, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. A standard of greatness should be the filter that you live your life through. Refuse to compromise or be swayed by your emotions. External circumstances should never dictate your actions. It's who you are at the core that should always command your response. Your inner standard is the personal code that you represent and choose to live by. Live by the code, the creed, the standard of greatness. No matter what you do, how big or how small, it should always be done with a spirit of excellence. Now the fourth element to the art of greatness is focus. The number one reason people fail is broken focus. They lose attention. They take their eye off the vision. They take their eyes off the prize. Now the word of God says, let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. That's Proverbs 425, written by Solomon, the wisest man who ever lived. You gotta refuse to give time, energy, or focus to anything that doesn't move you closer to your goals. Find out what's most important in your field or whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. Find out what's most important and then put all your time, energy, and resources there. You gotta keep your mind and your attention on the things that you actually do control. You take big challenges, and break them down into small manageable pieces. 
You take it one rep at a time, one set at a time, one day at a time, one week at a time. Keep all your attention on what you can control, what you can do right now, and put all your effort there. You gotta get tunnel vision. All you see is the dream and the things you gotta do to get there, that's it. Element five, to the art of greatness, is grind. That's your work ethic. When it comes to greatness, when it comes to success, your work ethic is your credit score. The only forms of payment are blood, sweat, and tears. Those are the only credit cards accepted here. You understand what I'm saying? Let's go to the word. Do you see a man skilled in his work? He will stand before kings. He will not stand before obscure men. Your mind imagines the dream. But in order for destiny to bloom, it must be constantly watered with blood, sweat, and tears. Success comes directly off the assembly line of an intense work ethic. You can't purchase greatness with Bitcoin. The only currency accepted is sweat. You got a hammer, bang, and chisel on your craft until you master it. You hear what I'm saying? They say it takes 10,000 hours of doing something before you master it. 20,000 to become a legend at it. Your grind and your preparation, those are weapons. You gotta use them. There's no goal or dream that can deny the person who masters the art of hard work. Success doesn't have to be complex. Just decide what you want and then grind at the level it takes to make it reveal itself. The sixth element to the art of greatness is discipline. Now let's go to the word. Therefore I do not run aimlessly. I do not fight like I'm beating the air. No, I discipline my body and make it my slave so that after I preach to others, I myself will not be disqualified. Now, to achieve greatness, you must first master yourself. What you do consistently, you will eventually become. Your habits and daily routines must be in alignment with the outcomes you want to accomplish. Discipline is the daily process of creating the life you want by consistently chiseling away at the things that don't belong. You gotta stop letting your emotions steer your life. It's time for you to get behind the wheel and put your life on the trajectory that you want it to be. Your discipline must break your body's spirit until it becomes your slave. Dedication, determination, and commitment. These are the three great equalizers. There's a whole lot of people in the Hall of Fame. They're only of average talent, but they were disciplined. Your work ethic and your discipline are your transportation. Where is your vehicle taking you? That's the question. You wanna go to the next level? You gotta be hungry, dedicated, and fearless. One by one, you must overcome the daily temptations that stand against your dreams. Self-discipline is sacrificing the short-term benefits for a bigger, greater desired outcome. It's a loud declaration to the universe that says, what I want to achieve is more important to me than the immediate gratification of the things that prevent me from it. How bad do you want to be successful? Self-mastery, discipline, cannot be outsourced. It's a choice that only you can make. The price of victory must be paid with sweat day in and day out. Now the seventh element, the final element of the art of greatness is perseverance. And the word says, let us not grow weary while doing good. For in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Now I like to say this, nothing can be denied the one that won't be denied. In order to do that though, you gotta have a strong why, a motive, a motivation to do what it is that you wanna accomplish. You gotta find you a why that you can run through walls with. What is the reason that you really wanna be successful? What is that reason behind it? You gotta find something so strong that it wakes you up early in the morning and keeps you up late at night. No matter how many times life knocks you down, you just gotta keep getting back up. Keep applying pressure until the world folds into your demands. Refuse to concede to any other outcome than the one set out for. God is not a halfway God. He's not going to halfway heal you, halfway deliver you, halfway bless you. He's going to go all the way because with God, all things are possible. And when you believe that, when you have that kind of faith, you can persevere through anything. The secret to success is refusing to give up. Perseverance transforms average everyday people into world champions.
begins. No matter what your goals are in life, there's going to be massive challenges, huge setbacks, and heartbreaking disappointments. Each of these circumstances will disguise themselves as failure. To step into greatness, you must reject this lie and continue on towards your dream with even more determination. Don't buy the lie the devil's trying to sell you. Failure is not an option for a believer, you hear me? Failure is not an option, it does not exist. I'm not gonna lie to you and act like everything's gonna be all gravy, all good, all the time, cause it's not. On the way to success, there will be many times when you feel crushed, exhausted, and alone. You'll be tempted to lay down, throw in the towel, and quit. But it's then, mighty warrior, that you must arise to the occasion. Arise, champion. Your choices during these soul-searching moments will eventually define you. Refuse to be a victim and claim the crown of glory by way of persistence. Keep applying pressure until the universe folds into your demands. When you would rather die trying than live as a quitter, then you will step fully into greatness and only then. I'm going to say it one more time. Refuse to concede to any other outcome than the one set out for, the one believed for. All these elements I laid out here in the art of greatness are held together by faith. According to your faith, so be it unto you. All things are possible to him that believeth. Greatness made you, therefore greatness is in you. Don't settle for anything less than what you were meant to be, what you were designed to do. Don't let nobody tell you that you are average. Don't let nobody tell you that you're not good enough. That's a lie from hell. Know your worth. You are amazing just the way you are. Perfectly designed and strategically assembled for success. Go get what is yours. This is Billy Alls Brooks. I am blessed and unstoppable. Blessed and unstoppable. Success starts with putting the right things into your mind. And my new book, Blessed and Unstoppable, was strategically designed to align your mind with the laws of success. This curriculum will teach you the inner mechanics required to go from average to phenomenal. From living a life with limits to being blessed and unstoppable. As you follow this guide step by step, amazing breakthroughs will happen. New doors of opportunity will open and favor will begin to chase you down. Less Than Unstoppable is a 31 day devotional on the laws of success. This book will instigate the thought process and actions required to transform your life. Each day has a Bible verse, a teaching on that day's principle, a positive affirmation, a prayer for the day, self-assessment questions, success quotes, action steps, and a powerful inspirational message. Regardless of what field you're in, Less Than Unstoppable is your blueprint for success. Get your copy at lessthanunstoppable.com. Also available on Amazon.